Hey folks, I'm Filler B, and welcome back to Ixion. It's been a while since we played this, it's been a while since I've played this over the Christmas holidays. Took a bit of a break from recording, so I'm just going to jump back into the story and see where it takes us. Now I spent a little time before recording today to gather up the rest of the resources in this sector. As you can see, there's not much left on the map. There's one helium here, and there's a bit of iron, and uh, this is calcium, I think. Carbon. Carbon over here. Um, and we're just collecting up a little bit more iron to give us a bit of a buffer before we go into the next section. I'll let these two guys come home and then we'll jump to move on with the story. Now while I was waiting, I did get an event that gave me a... Uh, I planted this tree, by the way. It's beautiful here. But I did get an event that gives me some negative things. For spending too, mo too long in the system, we got negative one happiness. They didn't like the fact that being reminded that uh, this system is dead and that humanity cannot survive here, so we have to move on. So it's a good way for the game to keep us from going on. Okay, let's just call in um, our buddies here. Knock all this off. Thank you. Let's come back in, please. Get up the game a little bit, and then we'll do the big jump. Wait till they finish unloading. There we go. So let's say uh, everybody's home. Where's the deuterium? Are you home? You are home. Good. Let's jump. Charge. In accordance with Frau Stanford procedures, all ships must return to the Tycoon before Volt Jump initiation. Good, I believe they're all there. Speed that up a little bit. Batteries are depleting while we are not using power, using the power to charge the engine. Ixian engine ready. Looks like we had just enough battery power to survive one jump. That's cool. Let's jump. That cutscene is the same as last time, but it's still beautiful. Ooh. Full jump complete. Running preliminary diagnostics. Severe hull damage has been detected following self-similar traversal. Hypothesis. Each vol jump causes irreversible damage to the tycoon structure. Predictive modeling suggests that four more vol jumps are possible before the tycoon breaks apart. New mission objective established. The protagonist possesses coordinates of the habitable exoplanet Remus. We must find the Protagoras in order to reach our destination. Cool beans. So let's find the Protagoras. Test colonization protocols. Train 30 colonists, locate a viable planet. Okay. And then search for the Protagoras. Okay. Well, let's go out to uh, space. And um, let's see what we see here. Oh, this is strange. 
Okay. Well, we'll send our science ship over here. Let's see what happens. Maybe we'll send a probe out? Yeah, let's send one probe out. Big science bump around here somewhere. I just saw it. It's water. Right there. Okay, I'll let them go. I'll put speed up a little bit. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Let's just see what this is before I click that. We can collect that science while I'm waiting. Interesting. Alright, what's here? Summary of intelligence on Falcon 74 scans. The Deuterium's crew have landed on Falcon 74. Gravity is approximately 4.5 times the atmosphere and is corrosive, while the shelter we estimate our survival time to be 2 hours and 27 minutes while in shelter. At the site of the unusual readings we found a huge geyser emitting gases that quickly solidify into cubic particles upon exposure to the planet's atmosphere. Cool. We can detonate and strategically place explosives to provide samples for collection with minimal effort. Although not suitable, the Tyrion's crew can set up and execute this quickly. Two hours. So this is three hours, right? We can be here two and a half hours. The James team will set up a temporary study center within the shelter of a light habitable model. While carrying out a geological survey with the assistance of a drilling rig, the team will require additional resources supplied by the cargo ship. Once the survey is completed, the team will upload results and abandon the center. Or we can do this one. Setting up infrastructure capable of supporting exploration and geological analysis will allow the Deuterium's team to map the site's topography and molecular composition. Despite being a time-consuming approach, the team will analyze a large amount of data and help to detect PA. With the help of a dedicated PA. There you go. Learn to read. Okay. Without shelter, our estimated survival time is 2 hours and 27 minutes. So, temporary shelter is 3 hours, so that's half an hour beyond. And this is 4 hours, which is uh, 1 and a half hours beyond. So I don't think I can do either of these the way I'm reading it. And because I don't want to look up the cheats on how to, like, the proper path to go down here, I'm just going to do perform intrusive analysis because of what this says right here, without shelter. And this is a shelter, so we could probably build this in three hours and then survive longer. Because of that half an hour, I bet you people will die if we try and do this. So let's just do the intrusive analysis. Won't take very long. Then we can move on to the next spot. Pop this back up to two. I kind of wish it kept the... Uh, speed, but every time I unpause, it goes back to the primary one speed. Well, integrity is not doing wonderful. Space weather. What's this? Weather events are representative of a wide marked area displayed on the planetary system at the Tycoon and its fleet are not affected as long as they stay out of these zones. When inside the dangerous areas, be aware that whilst the Tycoon will be able to sustain some damage, your fleet may not be so lucky. Should a stellar object such as an asteroid be located as a dangerous area of a system map, you can choose that object to be avoided. Okay, good to know. See, it went back to normal speed again. A science ship team has completed Pick this up. 
Seems the detonation was more powerful than expected. Our team was prepared for this outcome as no human or material losses have been reported. The results of the analysis have gave us insight to the geyser's formation and the unusual precipitation that caused it. Well, we'll leave the planet and we'll collect that science. Let's see what that request is. Uh, the request would be here, not over there. Uh, here. The tycoon has left the Sol Solar System. The crew is convinced that they will never again see the stars that saw them born. This necessary step will unfortunately accentuate the dread Earth sickness. Alright. Looks like we got a mounting um, penalty to happiness. It does look like that just replaced the the um, negative I had for staying too long in the system, so I think we're okay for now. And I did build this over here to make them happy. This side is happy. So there we go. I'm not going to unthaw more people, because I just thought I want to stick in a holding pattern until I figure out what's going on over here. So let's go back out here. Let's grab another probe. I have it to auto-build probes at the moment, so why don't we see what else is out here. There's a good carbon spot, an iron spot. I could use a bit more iron before we go. More carbon. There's probably a good iron spot out here, yeah, right there. This is a good science spot. Oh, and there's something over here too. More science there. That's closer, so let's do this one. And I'll let the uh, ship collect all the science here. How much science do I need for the next level? Let's take a look. Nothing really going on here, right? Yeah, nothing really going on there. I need... Uh, 60. 53 for the DLS center. That's 60 for all the outside stuff. And I've done everything else on the inside circles. Um, the colony training center is 60. All right, so I'll wait on that. Oh, got something here. What's this? Crew members are worried about the number of hazards we are coming across in space were previously unknown to us. They would like resonance, reassurance that the exploration of the Imar system will be conducted safely. Promise that a member, not a member of the science ship, will die on the in the system. Promise that a science ship chief casualties will not rise above five. Promise nothing. I'll do five. That's good. Yeah, I know you have nothing to do right now. That's fine. Because there's nothing for me to pick up. And now we'll get this going again. Grab the science ship and we'll head over here. Once I've collected all that science, it's not quite enough to get me where I need to be. Oops. Oh, An accident has occurred in the typhoon. Another friggin' accident. Oh, it's fun. Oh, we found a planet over here. Extra fun. And 30 science. Let's grab you. And there was one more over here that I was looking at. Where are you? Oh, saw it just for a second? Right there. A science ship has arrived at its What's over here? Our probe has detected a distress signal near an asteroid. We have reached the asteroid, and mining ship Sheppel was adrift nearby. It appears to have been pierced by a fast-moving object, killing its operator instantly. External markings indicate the Sheppel was a mining craft of the Protagoros. Ooh, investigate the Sheppel, please. And maybe we'll get a free mining ship. I do have an open spot. They have an open spot for a second science ship and a second mining ship. But I think it's, if I 
If I'm understanding the UI correctly, I think I can have one of each ship per dock. And so my main dock in section one is filled up with all three. And my second one only has a cargo ship, which is currently not being used because there's no cargo here. Not good, you're done. Let's go look at that um, iron spot. Uh, is there anything close by that looks good? Yeah, in here, looks bad. Although, it looks like none of the science is popping up really high. There is science over there. Okay, i got to remember that. I would like... Water. Like, small amounts of iron over here. Lots of carbon. Looks like there's another something over here, right there. Okay. Over here and over here. Gotcha. Oh, and it looks like there's another one over here, right there. Gotcha. How about this side? There's another one over here. Gotcha. What's that iron spot? Oh, there's a really good one right here. Let's grab that iron. That'll give my ship something to do. I think that's out of the range of the thing, right? Yeah. One event available. What event? I don't see an event. I don't see an event. Oh, there it is. Sector 1 has 234 cryonic pods in storage. Protocol tells us that if our improvised operation to safeguard humanity succeeds, the Tycoon will need as many crew members as possible. Moreover, welcoming new colleagues on board will have a positive effect on the morale of the crew. I could unlock 100 more crew. Ah. We will address this in time. And the reason I say that is because I want to get my food production up to match that. Because right now it is negative. Oh, you're over here at Plymouth. Perfect. There's 15 there. Yeah. I need 60 per pop, Assigned plus 5 more. Has completed a task. Okay, let's see what this says. After clearing away the scattered remains of the Sheptel's operator, the Deuterium crew was able to revive the navigation data from the ship's onboard computer. It gives me a whole bunch of iron and two components. Uh, electronics, I think they're called. Determine the cause of the destruction, please. Good. And one of my guys is already going out to mine. And I'll set up my one ship to collect that, and I'll send the other ship to collect that. Please and thank you. Uh, we do have another probe, so let's send a probe. Uh, that's a spot up here. Over there. Miners mining away, which is good. Trust is high, everything looks good. What about you over here? What have we discovered? Probe has completed its scan. 400 iron, good. Wait till our next probe gets built. An accident has occurred in the Typhoon. And then there was something over here I wanted me to look at. Right there. I'm not sure how my probe's gonna get to the other side of this. 
Probes take alloys, and uh, we're using alloys. A science ship team has completed a task. Hmm. Let's see what this says. The Shepel was intentionally hit by a projectile. After careful investigation, the Tyrium's team has recovered fragments of a shell bearing the emblem of the UN and the word Etamenaki. Etamenaki. We get 45 science here. We can lead. Let's collect that. And then once we hit 60, which we will in just a second here. Cool. I'll turn this back on. Uh, do I have the pop for this? They are in extra hours? Yeah. Anything I can turn off. How many do I need? I need 25. Each of these are how many? Five. It's not enough. Anything I can turn off that I don't really need. This is paused. That's the polymer factory, and that's paused. Okay, so let's start. Oh, I don't really want to do that though, do I? What do you have over here? You could give up probably 10 workers. That'll help. Let's just get the science going and we'll have them working on extra hours. Just have them work the extra hours for now. Wake up some new people soon. So what I really want is, is it the mushroom wall? Convert six waste into nine food after three cycles of using specifically designed fungus. Um, they want me to use that. This is policies. And the crop farm. Harvest up to nine crop fields using significant amount of water to produce a large amount of food. I might reduce worker load if I do this. That's why I'm thinking that. I'm gonna need fire soon, because they wouldn't have this here if they didn't have it. Need it. And this produces waste into polymers and alloys and stuff, also useful. This is the fusion station. It's ice into water. So I need this and this in combination. And I need this and this in combination. Let's do this. Let's do the DLS center. And I'm going to transfer some people around. So let's transfer uh, 10 only workers from sector 6 to sector 1. Right? Yeah. That should help a bit. And uh, let's turn this on, and we'll get a few more, but I only want workers at the moment. Population transfer complete. Neocon protocols have identified a new planet suitable for our colonization test program. Oh, cool. Maybe we'll set that up too. You're on extra hours. Oh yeah, oh, whatever. So a suitable planet. Is that over here? Is that Fargo? Okay, let's take a look at the colonist one. Colonists are non-workers that have been trained in colonization training center. Colonists are crucial for colonization events. The number of colonists within a tycoon is shown by hovering or mouse over the population icon at the screen. You can transport colonists to a destination using a cargo ship, and they are represented by the population icon. Probably this icon. Probably would have circled this. That would have made sense. 
but you know, whatever. Uh, Tycoon, you are done collecting here, so why don't you head over this way? I think, or do you want to head over to this or this? Good question. Let's head over here. That makes sense, or should I head over here? Actually, let's head over here. Let's head to Plymouth, because then I can hit Fargo as well. Why is Holland Taker going down 9, 8, plus 24, plus 24? Well, because I don't have, I see, I don't have the right amount of workers. But you're working away here, right? Yeah. You should be getting there soon. How often for a worker here? There we go, there's another one. You can have 200 workers here. So you need 180 and you need a 156. So let's um let's do 160. No, sorry, this is a 190 here and 160 here, please. Of workers, or is that the population? Here though, uh, I want to transfer sector one iron. I want there to be 200 iron here. Sector six iron to have zero. And that should transfer some of that out. How far are you? You're not that far. And I should really switch it so that the other ship, uh, Sector 1's ship, is doing the iron. That's right, right? Yeah, you are. Not sure why I have iron in the bay on the other one, but you did. is still working away on a comet. That's good. How's our pop? A site You're coming up. Has You're at the, uh, the limit here. It's excellent. You need a little bit more housing, but I think we're okay. All right, let's go check out the science. Plymouth 37. A probe has detected the presence of cavities between the planet's surface. The readings we are picking up from these chambers are similar to those in strong nuclear reactors. We have landed on Plymouth 37. The opaque atmosphere lets a hardly any in a hardly any light. Geological formations on the planet's surface resemble giant emerald waves frozen in time. We have set up near a location of one of these cavities. No information on um, it causing negative stuff, so let's establish an infrastructure to support the exploration and geological analysis. And I'll send the, this ship. Perfect. Eleven messages here. Whatever. Oh, our science is done, right? Yeah, we only have fifty-three left. 
But I can build the DNS center. What does this do? Unlocks the ability for apply special projects within a sector to temporarily address ongoing crises and tackles the sector's specializations. Hmm. Doesn't seem useful. I may have picked not too wisely on this one, although it doesn't take too much to build. Do I have any here? I do not. And it needs three pop, so it's really not that much pop. You guys are back to optimal, which is good. You're working away here. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off on building this. I might just get the waste thing instead. Tough question, I'm not sure. I had made a bit of a mistake here, and I'm going to correct myself by doing this. Uh, to make sure that I don't um, block myself off too much. No, yeah, I have nothing in the stockpile here, but I do over here, right? Yes, okay, so I gotta change the priority, so let's do that. For polymers in section one, I'd like a minimum of, let's say, 50. And uh, section six, I want a polymers of, let's say, a minimum of 25. Actually, let's do 25, 25. That seems better. I'll move some more polymers over. That means I have to start this polymer factory soon. It does need 30 workers, however. But I can get rid of 16 workers if I can get rid of these two. Should be helpful. my food production or negative a little bit yeah I gotta get that food thing going um, let's uh, go out here again you're not collecting this if you just collected this it would be wonderful maybe I should have waited before starting the event to collect this 10 yeah All right, let's speed up the time and uh, in the next episode, we will explore what's going on with Plymouth. Got a little cargo ship on the way. Then we'll head over to Fargo, collect that science. Maybe I'll do the colonization thing instead. I'll click this science, do the research for the colonization, head over here to the planet that could be colonized, and deal with that. Yeah, that sounds like a good, good plan. All right, well, I'll see you in the next episode. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Please like and subscribe if you are, and have a great day. Goodbye.